Hey, this is Luke Simons with Salt Strong. In this video, I'm gonna show you how to use what I believe is the best platform for, for getting tides and for planning your next fishing trip. And so I'll walk you through the process and I'll, I'll do it on the phone just because that's how most people are using it. It is super efficient. It is actually more efficient and easier to use than an app. And I'll show you exactly why uh, here in this video. And then more importantly though, this overall platform, you can do it on desktop if you need it. And the core premise though, is this is a one-stop shop for everything that you need. You have the tides, you have the weather, you have the fishing forecast based on our, on our algorithms. You have radar in motion so that you can make sure that you're not gonna get stuck in a, in a lightning storm. You have satellite maps so that you can you can actually see exactly where the, the, the fishing spots are and where the hazards are, like, like oyster bars or sandbars. And also you have sonar maps as well, so that when, you know, if, if you're in an area with murky water, or if you're looking for, for deeper areas that, that you can't see on the satellite map, you have the sonar map as well. And so it's really simple, right? Just find your tide station and then dig into it. And so this is the, uh, the, home, the home screen, and it's, it'll default to your area, to wherever you are. And if you wanna search somewhere else, you just type in whatever else you want. In that in that box and then it'll it'll change the location of the map or you can just simply just move the map around zoom out pan around and, and then drill down to the tide station that is closest to the area you're going to fish so i'm in placida now so i'll just go ahead and click on placida hit the tide page and now i'll go to the tide page and from this one page i have everything that i need to plan my next trip and so we'll just scroll down. And so really cool thing that we have is a 14 day outlook on what days are statistically gonna have the best bite, right? This is taking into account the tides, the salooner tables, the wind, the barometric pressure changes, and then the season. Obviously, you know, the, the algorithm changes throughout the seasons as the different variables are more and less important. Uh, next is on the, on the actual tide chart, super important is to have a chart plotted out like this with your tides so that you can get obviously that you know the tide height at any given time you'll know what the what the water is going to be but more importantly is the current right the current is the change in height how fast is the current is the is the tide level going from a high to a low obviously the faster it's moving that means there's going to be more current moving and that is what is going to be triggering the best bite in many cases. So the current is super important. And with a graph like this, you can see it very easily. So this is a tide, you know, a tide chart. A lot of other tide charts have this. But what they don't have is if we just tilt the phone over, now we have an overlay of the weather by hour. So not only can we see the wind speed, we can see the wind direction, and we can see icons for if it's going to be sunny or if it's going to be cloudy, if it's going to be windy. So we can know, again, what the weather is going to be like throughout the day along with the tides. You know, what the tide's going to be doing throughout the day. Really, really helpful. And from this one page, we can just click this next day and then look to see, again, how the weather and the tides will be impacted throughout the, uh, the trip. So we can see the wind's going to get stronger, weaker. Obviously, the tide, the tide uh, level is changing. And uh, again, super, super helpful. And so we'll go back to the, the main view. So that's the actual tide data. Another really cool thing we have is the actual feeding level projections. So this will, again, based on all of the information, we run it through our algorithm and it'll, it'll kick out the, the likelihood of the bite, right? Statistically, this will show when the best bite will statistically be based on what we've been seeing lately. And so we're constantly changing the algorithm to make sure it's as accurate as possible. So far, the feedback has been excellent. So I highly recommend uh, give it a shot and let us know how it goes. And so below this, this is really for, for is the day you're going out, right? You can see the local radar or while you're out on the water. So you can just click the show radar and this will show any storms in the area. And you can obviously zoom out and everything just, just, like, uh, just like normal, it's, you know, super easy. And then the cool thing though, is we really wanna know, okay, what direction is the storm going? Great, it's out there, but is it gonna be coming towards me or is it going away from me? And so really, really cool thing, you can have a two hour look back. And so you can see that the clouds are going a little bit south. 
So in this case, we are in the clear. And so for me, I'll check this before I go, just to make sure that I'm not gonna just go out and immediately get hit by a storm. And then also while I'm out there, I will go and just look at it every hour or so, just to make sure that, that there's no, uh, no storm popping up that, that is gonna put me, uh, put me in danger. So really, really handy. Below that, we have the satellite map. And so this is really for uh, when you're out on the water or if you're planning a trip, right? You can just look into, to see you know, the underwater structure or even above the water structure, right? If you're in a murky area, you can't see under the water very well, but you can at least see the points. Uh, when you're out of the water, you know, do I have any sandbars I need to look out for? And, uh, and just to show how detailed this is, you can zoom in and it goes so low that you can actually see the prop scars on this, on this bar where, where boats have run aground. So very, very important if those, uh, if those boaters were using this, uh, they would not have hit the ground, right? They would have seen that there's a sandbar there. So really, really important is to make a habit of, of checking satellite maps, especially if you're gonna be navigating in areas that you're not familiar with. Uh, because again, if, if, especially if it's a calm day, you know, in many cases, you can't see signs that there's a sandbar there until you hit it. So really, really important is to make sure that you, that you use satellite maps. And again, the cool thing about this platform is that it's all here in one spot. And so for those who are in areas that, uh, that have murky water, or, or if you really wanna see you know, some deeper contours that is uh, deeper than what the satellite maps can see, you know, here is uh, an actual, this is actually from Nav Navionics. You know, we've teamed up with them to get some really good, uh, really good map details in there. So you can see where, you know, where the channel markers are, you can see the depths of, of any given area. Again, just like the other maps, you can pan around, you can zoom in, zoom out, really, really helpful. Again, all from the same page. And then down below that, if you do want to see you know, any other nearby tide stations, if you want to see, okay, is, uh, is the strike score at Boca Grande, uh, which is a little bit south, is that going to be better or worse than what I see in Placida? In this case, it's about the same. And then most cases, it's generally the same. But there are some situations when, when one will have a, a tide that is, that is different, right? In most cases, it's going to be either delayed or ahead that matches up with a twilight period. And again, twilight periods during some parts of the year actually trump the, the tidal flow. And so we just make sure that this, uh, this feeding level chart will, will cut through all the data for you. So you don't even have to think about it. You just look at this simple graph. But, uh, but all in all, you know, this, uh, this one platform has proven to be really, really helpful. And so I highly recommend giving it a shot and let us know your thoughts, right? Because this is custom, so we can, uh, we can update this however needed. So if there's something that's missing, we'll add it. If there's something that needs to be fixed or adjusted, we'll do that as well. You know, we're here to, to make sure that you have the best tools possible to maximize your time on the water. And I, and I mentioned before is that you know this is all web-based and we're probably not gonna even bother with an app because this is just so efficient on the phone. And it seems like the, the biggest reason people have asked to have an app is just to get it on the home screen. So what I'll do is I'll, I'll record and I'll show you exactly how to put whichever page or pages from this platform, from this online platform onto your phone's home screen. It's super easy. And unlike an app, you can actually put as many as you want. So you can put, you can put each of the, the individual tide stations that you wanna see on your phone's home screen so that any tide station you want is just one tap away. All right, so I'm gonna show you how to add your favorite tide station to your home screen. Right now I'm in the, the tide station for Placida, which is where I've been fishing lately. And so all I have to do is once I'm on the page, I, I, scrolled, I scrolled down, you know, I, I, you know, I pan down, and then at the very bottom you'll see those icons appear. And so the one in the middle, the box with the arrows pointing up, just tap on that. And then what that's gonna do, that's gonna add up, that's gonna pull up this display and add to home screen is the one that we wanna use. So literally just tap add to home screen and, uh, and this shows the URL. So the top one is the, the actual, you know, what the name is gonna be. So it just defaults to the name of the page and I'll just name it Placida Tides and that's it. And so now, and then obviously the URL, I don't change the URL. That's the, that's the page that the icon will take me to. And so to end on the screen, it'll say Placida Tides. So let me go ahead and add it and, uh, and done. And so now you can see that bottom, the bottom right corner icon is the tide station for Placida Tides. So now going forward, if I ever wanna see the tides for Placida, I just tap that icon on my home screen 
and it'll automatically take me straight to the, the Placida Tides page and it'll automatically be updated for whatever the current time is, right? The current date and time. Super easy, super efficient. This is why we, we didn't do an app. Uh, we were going down the app route and then realized that you know this, this web streaming version, it's just super mobile friendly and, and it's just more efficient uh, than having an app because with this, you don't have to worry about uploading when we make updates to this uh, to this platform we make the updates on our server and then you basically access directly to our server from the the website platform and again you can just uh, simply add whichever page or pages you want to the home screen of your phone to make it as easy and streamlined as possible for you